Okay. So, we have just seen that uh, di dielectric loss in a cable, right. So, just we have uh, discussed this uh, regarding uh, this one, this is the current and this is the voltage and this is your, this angle uh, is called the loss angle and this is your phase angle, that is the phase angle between current and uh, voltage, right. So, in that case, uh, so this we have already discussed. So, this one also, also we have discussed that dielectric loss in a cable is just to memorize this V i cos phi and phi is equal to your 90 degree minus uh, delta. So, phi is equal to 90 degree minus delta this phi because this is 90 degree. So, here your power loss will be V i sin delta then V i cos 90 degree minus delta. So, power loss will be V i sin delta but we know i is equal to omega c into v. So, put it here i is equal to omega c into v therefore, dielectric loss will be omega c v square sin delta where c is the capacitance of the cable and v is the line to neutral voltage. Up to this we have seen next uh, what will come that will come for the grading of the cables right because the value of E max has to be kept within limits which depend on the margin of the safety and the permissible degree of dielectric heating. So, so e actually since the insulation away from the core is under stress that means, when you have a uh, I mean uh, if we look at this diagram if you just, just look at this diagram suppose this is your core and this is your different your uh, epsilon 1, epsilon 2, epsilon 3 dif different permittivity with different material for grading that, but the question is that which is away from this away from this core conductor then insulation will be under stress and insulation which is very close to the co your uh, core conductor then it will be over stressed. So, that is why that insulation away from the core that means insulation away from the core which is away from the core I mean, suppose somewhere here say right is under stress. So, there is an uh, avoidable worst of insulation. So, is, so uh, the avoidable worst of your it is insulation right. So, for this case you have to use methods which reduce the amount of insulation by redistribution of stress so as to increase the stress in outer layers of insulation without increasing at the conductor surface. That means, do not increase it here conductor at the that your stress you do not insulation stress here that you do not in, uh, increase it at the surface uh, or near the conductor, but those insulation which are away from the core it is under stress, but try to make it uniform although not possible, but as much as possible you try to increase the stress, uh, but without increasing your uh, at the conductor your, uh, your surface insulation and near the conductor surface or core conductor right. So, therefore, by redistribution of stress so as to increase the stress in outer layers of insulation without increasing at the conductor surface. So, two methods generally they use it one is the I mean two methods are recommended for this capacitance grading and second one is intersheath grading these two things one has to see. So, although we will we'll go for capacitance grading and intersheath grading, but in reality that uh, implementation of these two are bit difficult one, but uh, that is why rarely used, but we will uh, we will see that how things can be done. For example, suppose this is actually suppose you have a core co your core conductor this is a, this is the conductor right core. So, two or more layers of dielectrics have a different permittivity I mean you have here in the diagram this I have taken from a book that in the, in the diagram that there are three insulating materials are there having permittivity epsilon 1, epsilon 2 and epsilon 3. This is their electric field your, your what you call that characteristic is plot, but 0 to r then that is that is the conductor radius then r 2 r 1, r 1 to r 2, r 2 capital R, but we will we will, we will not our interest is here only right. So, with higher permittivity being nearer to the conductor that means, this epsilon 1 greater than epsilon 2 greater than epsilon 3 this is the ideas, because having different permittivities those with high higher permittivities being nearer to the conductor. 
that means epsilon 1 greater than equal to epsilon 2 greater than equal to epsilon 3. Now, the electric field intensity E x say at any distance here diagram it is not shown say from the from the center of the uh, your conductor and you take at any distance x that is electric field intensity E x right uh, of radius you take any distance x and its radius is your what you call x. Therefore, it is given by your equation 5 that was that was already that was already given just uh, just hold, hold on uh, if I if I can bring equation 5 for you right just let me see where it is uh, just hold on otherwise we will rewrite that that is your otherwise directly we will uh, we'll, uh, make it like this just hold on let me have a look or oh, here it is not there does not matter if it were possible that electric field intensity E x it is actually q by 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon r x that is a formula equation 5 right. So, if it is it are permissible to verify your to vary permittivity with radius x such that your epsilon r your inversely proportional to the 1 upon x that means uh, I mean if, if it happens so that distance if distance increases this epsilon r will decreases the this one can be written as your m by x m is a constant. So, in general your uh, your electric field your uh, that electric field intensity E x that is equation 5 that is it is something like this E x is equal to your q divided by 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon r into x this is the equation right that is that is actually equation 5. So, now if, if epsilon r is equal to m by x then in that equation in that equation you substitute your epsilon r is equal to m by x this is equation 5 actually if you do so it will be e x is equal to it will be q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 then m by x into x. So, x x will be cancelled. So, it will become actually q upon 2 pi 0 your 2 pi epsilon 0 into m. So, m is a constant epsilon 0 is constant pi is also constant and q is also constant that means this e x will be a constant value this is equation 14 right. So, that means that E x actually then that means if you if, if it follows this if this property is followed then E x will constant uh, through your every everywhere everywhere E x will remain same, but in reality it is not because epsilon r epsilon r cannot be made uh, proper inversely proportional to 1 upon x, but inversely proportional to the x. So, question is that your, uh, but based on that only we will proceed. So, so, therefore, from this formula only from this formula only. So, I told you that this remain constant. So, E x is constant throughout the thickness of the insulation. So, everywhere your everywhere that wherever it is that electric field intensity E x remain constant if assumption is epsilon r. Uh, inverse, uh, inversely proportional to the x that is uh, uh, epsilon r is equal to m by x right. So, therefore, such a such a gradation is evidently not possible right it is not possible however, two or three dielectrics with different values of relative permittivity can be used as shown in figure 6 that but uh, that is continuous uh, thing is not possible because epsilon r inversely proportional to the x continuous that such thing is not available but we can use two or three layers of uh, dielectrics with different permittivity. This is epsilon 1, epsilon 2. Here in the figure, there are three different uh, three your insulating material with different permittivity. And I told you epsilon 1 greater than epsilon 2 greater than epsilon 3. So, with different that that I showed in the figure 6, right. Now, from x is equal to r to x is equal to r 1, and I mean, I mean your this is conductor radius r and from center to the first that is uh, your insulation sheet first insulation it is r 1 right. That means, at x is equal that means, from x is equal to r to x is equal to r 1 the dielectric with relative permittivity epsilon 1 because its relative permittivity is epsilon 1 right. So, it, that means, at x is equal to r E can be written as q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon 1 into r, because general formula is at distance x 
it is q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon r into x right, but x is equal to your r and x is equal to r 1 you have to see when x is equal to r you can write that e is equal to q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon 1 into r this is equation 15. Now, at x is equal to r 1 that is at x is equal to r 1 right at distance this one this is for your insulating, insulating material whose uh, permittivity epsilon 1. So, at x is equal to r 1 and first one we are considering it is e is equal to q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon 1 into r 1 because it is here to here r 1 right this is equation 16. Similarly, from x is equal to r 1 to x is equal to r 2 that is r x is equal to r 1 to r 2 right that second layer r 1 to r 2 permittivity is epsilon 2 that means, from x is equal to r 1 to x is equal to r 2 the dialectic with relative permittivity epsilon 2 because here permittivity is epsilon 2 that means, at uh, that means your just hold on that means, at x is equal to r 1 right e is equal to q by 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon 2 r 1 listen one thing that this when x is equal to r 1 that is for permittivity your what you call insulin epsilon 1 it was q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon 1 r 1, but when it is this uh, when it is going to the next insulating material epsilon 2 r 1 to r 2, but it is epsilon 2 that is why again at x is equal to r 1 e upon e is equal to q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon 2 to r 1 right. So, but not here epsilon 1 because for second year it is starting from r 1 to your r 2. So, it is epsilon 0 epsilon, uh, epsilon 2 r 1 this is equation 17. Similarly, at x is equal to r 2 e is equal to q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon 2 into r 2 this is equation 18 right. So, from x is equal to r 2 now similarly from x is equal to r 2 to x is equal to r that is the third one that is x is equal to r 2 to r right the dialectic with relative permittivity here epsilon 3 the relative permittivity epsilon 3 therefore, x at x is equal to r 2 it will be e is equal to q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon 3 r 2 here this is for insulin 1 because this when it actually that r 2 is the beginning of the your what you call that is the ending of this uh, second is, is this thing uh, insulating material and when it is good epsilon 3 then r 2 is the beginning of this and capital R is the ending. That is why at x is equal to r 2 cap e is equal to q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon 3 r 2 here also x is equal to r 2 that 2 pi this is for your uh, insulating material 2 epsilon 2, but again for insulin 3 that is starting from r 2. So, e is equal to q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon 3 r 2. So, not 2 huh? it is epsilon 3. So, this is equation 19. Similarly, at x is equal to r that is the boundary one last of this one surface one right that e is equal to q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon 3 r. So, this is your equation 20 right. I hope you have understood this. Now, therefore, Just hold on. Therefore, using using this equation, because if you look at all these all these equations, right, uh, this e x is equal to is given, then you are at different values that everywhere that we want to make that e is same, right. So, all these equations, whatever it is there, you just equate to them q 2 pi epsilon 0 all will be cancelled, just equate to them, please do yourself just equate to them all the all the e's are same right if it is so i mean if it happens so if it happens that all e at every point that e is same then if they are equal i mean we want equal electric field distribution that is the trace right so if all are equal then your q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 will be cancelled and finally the equation will be 1 upon epsilon 1 r right that means uh, uh, your uh, the, this thing or what you call that 1 upon epsilon 1 r is equal to 1 upon epsilon 2 r 1 is equal to 1 upon epsilon 3 r 2 right just hold on here, here. 
that it will be if, if you equate with this one q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon of epsilon 1 r 1 right and this is epsilon 1 r all are equal actually. Therefore, we can write 1 upon epsilon 1 r equate to this with epsilon 2 this one epsilon 2 with this equate this to 1 upon epsilon 2 r 1 then equate with this one 1 upon epsilon 3 r 2 right. So, that means q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 all will be cancelled and finally, it is 1 upon epsilon 1 r equal to 1 upon epsilon 2 r 1 is equal to 1 upon epsilon 3 r 2. That means, epsilon 1 r is equal to epsilon 2 r 1 is equal to epsilon 3 r 2 this is equation 21 right. So, the variation of electric field intensity with radius is shown in figure 6 that means, this figure I showed you the electric field intensity variation this one this one this is the electric field intensity variation from r 2 r 1 r 1 to r 2 r 2 to capital R right. Therefore, the operating voltage V is therefore, you integrate uh, uh, no need to show, show the figure here uh, look r 2 r 1 e x d x plus r 1 to r 2 e x d x plus r 3 to capital R e x d x right. Therefore, V is equal to r 2 r 1 q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon 1 x d x plus r 1 to r 2 you make q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon 2 x d x plus r 3 to r q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon 3 x d x. That means, this is for the first insulating material with permittivity epsilon 1, this is for the second uh, insulating material with permittivity epsilon 2 and this is for the third insulating material with permittivity epsilon 3 right. Now, if you integrate it is you will get q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon it will be ln r 1 upon r it will be q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon to ln r 2 by r 1 and this one will be plus q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon 3 ln capital r upon r 3 right. So, this is the expression of the your what you call the your voltage V operating voltage V this is the expression. Now, what you do this all this equation all this equation this is ln r 1 upon r. So, what you do numerator and denominator multiply by r here also it is r 2 by r 1 numerator and denominator you multiply by r 1 and here also numerator and denominator you multiply by r 3 if you do so if you do so then it will be v q q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon 1 r r ln r 1 upon r the numerator and denominator multiplied by r. Similarly, here also multiplied by r 1 numerator and denominator. So, q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon 2 epsilon 1 it is r 1 ln r 2 upon r 1 plus here q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon 2 r 2 into r 2 ln of r by r 2. That means, this is actually q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon 1 r this is actually E max because conductor radius is r. So, at the surface of the conductor that uh, that e your electric field intensity will be maximum that means, it will be E max actually E max this is at the surface of conductor it will be q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon 1 r right because earlier also I have told you that at the surface of the uh, at the surface of the conductor that electric field intensity maximum. So, it will be q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon 1. So, this is E max actually E max is equal to q upon 2 pi epsilon 0 epsilon r then r ln r 1 by r plus r 1 ln r 2 upon r 1 plus r 2 ln capital R upon r 2. So, this is your voltage or what you call the operating voltage expression when you use in this case we have used 3 or 3 dielectrics right with different permittivities. Now, that, that was your that is one thing second thing is that your intersheath grading right in this case in, in, in this case that what they do that only one dielectric is used only one dielectric will be used, but the dielectric is separated into two or more layers by thin metallic intersheath maintained at appropriate potential right. I mean here uh, this is another diagram this is the conductor, but you have the your that insulating material having same dielectrics right, but 
you are uh, then, but you are putting in between inter sheet. This is one inter sheet one, another is inter sheet two, and this is and this inter sheet. If you can maintain that uh, potential, I mean, I mean by some mechanism, right? So maintain the appropriate potential by connecting them to tappings on the winding of the transformer, feeding the cable. This is not easy procedure, right? Uh, but in any way, so but if possible, connecting the tappings on the winding of the transformer, feeding the cable. So, there is a fixed voltage between the inner and outer radius of each sheet. So, there will be a fixed voltage then between inner and outer radius of the your what you call that inter sheet. So, in this diagram two inter sheets are shown and this is actually uh, some uh, your characteristic is shown this is your electric field intensity it is given in kilo volt per millimeter. Uh, this is electric field with inter sheet when you put inter sheet the electric field look uh, uh, this thing. Uh, more or less they are following the same characteristic, but electric field without inter sheet this is showing the this one that long curve right. So, in this case there is a fixed voltage between the inner and outer radius of each sheet right that means, so, so this, this is the this is the figure this is the figure 7 and this is actually in this is actually this one this one this one this is the inter sheet outer sheet this is inter sheet 2 inter sheet 1 and here voltage is V here it is V 1 here it is V 2. Now, so figure 7 shows this figure only this figure only single core cable with two inter sheets the different radius R R R 1 R 2 and capital R right. The potential difference between conductor and first inter sheet is V minus V 1. So, the pot this is this is at the surface it is V then V 1 then V 2. So, potential difference between the your what you call between the conductor and the first inter sheet will be V minus V 1 this is understandable. Thus, between the first and the second inter sheet is actually V 1 minus V 2 here it is V 1 here it is V 2. So, it will be V 1 minus V 2 and the then the and the between the second inter sheet and the outer sheet between the second and outer sheet it is actually V 2. My question is here it is only V 2 right because outer sheet is V 2. Uh, so, between the your between your what you call that the first uh, uh, between between the second inter sheet and the outer sheet. So, between the second inter sheet and outer sheet it is taken V 2. My question is it to you why you have taken V 2 right here we have not as outer sheet we have not assumed anything V 1 V V 1 V 2 this is a question to you that uh, when you will read this you mail me this is the simplest answer actually, but leaving up to you right. So, uh, uh, and if you if you answer this, I will reply to your mail when you read this, right? But here we have taken only V two, and this is the outer set. This is the outer set, right? So using equation nine, the maximum voltage gradient in three sections are. So, so first one is first one between the conductor and the first set. It is V minus V one. Therefore, E max one will be instead of V actually it will be V minus V one R ln r 1 r r this is actually coming from equation 9 this is coming from equation 9 right. Therefore, uh, that E max 1 will be V minus V 1 upon r ln r 1 upon r this is I am making equation 23 a. Similarly, E max 2 will be that is between first and second inter sheet the voltage difference is V 1 minus V 2 therefore, it will be V 1 minus V 2 that r 1 ln r 2 upon r 1 this is equation 23 b right and then this E max uh, E max 3 will be V 2 upon R 2 L n capital R upon R 2 this is 23 c this is straight forward you can write right. So, in that in, in this case if the values of maximum and minimum potential gradient in the three sections are kept the same if you assume that they are they all are same that is uh, your what you call maximum and minimum potential gradient in the three sections are kept the same, then you will get R 1 upon R is equal to R 2 upon R 1 is equal to capital R upon R 2 is equal to uh, alpha. So, in that case if you if you try to make that uh, they all are same right, if you want to if you want to make this one, this one, this one all are same that in that case what will happen that R 1 upon R is equal to R 2 upon R 1 is equal to capital R upon R 2 is equal to alpha that means all this ratio all this ratio 
uh, it will be your what you call they have to be same. In general formula is V upon R ln your what you call uh, ln capital R by small r right. So, if you assume that all the things will be same then this is the condition that is that means if it is so that means the, the your what you call the V minus V 1 if R 1 upon R is equal to R 2 upon R 1 is equal to capital R upon R 2 is equal to alpha right then this equation this equation can be written as all are equal. So, V minus V 1 upon R small r into ln alpha then is equal to V 1 minus V 2 upon R 1 ln alpha is equal to V 2 upon V 2 upon R 2 ln alpha this is equation 25 right. So, if you want to make it this ratio you have to make same right. That means, if the cable does not have any intersheet, suppose it does not have any intersheet, in that case the maximum voltage gradient will be V max will be V upon R small r ln capital R by small r, this is 26. If there is no intersheet, then this is that E max, because that is at the surface of the your conductor. So, using equation 23 and 26, the ratio of maximum trace with and without intersheet can be calculated because this is without any intersheet and other equation 23, 23 means 23 a, 23 b and 23 c right calculated the radius of intersheet can be found from equation 24. That means, from this equation that radius of, radius of uh, the intersheet you can find out from equation 24 right. So, when voltage v 1 and v 2 can be found from your from equation 25. I mean there are here there are three equations actually this one is equal to this one one equation this one is equal to this one one equation and this one is equal to this one another equation right so from that you can compute if data are known you can solve this if data are given and you can find out v1 v2 v3 etc right so both the methods for grading of cables involve practical difficulties there is uh, there are practical difficulties of implementing this method with capacitance grading the difficulty exists in obtaining insulating materials having required values of permittivity. I mean you have a you have to put insulating materials of suppose you are making designing some uh, uh, cable the different uh, if you want that I want this much of electric field intensity strain then different permittivity of insulating material it is difficult to get right. So, this is one disadvantage. So, it is almost not possible although although just hold on although use of rubber it has a permittivity value in between 4 to 6 and impregnated paper that permittivity value 3 to 4 have been suggested I mean you can if you can use rubber paper etcetera is one thing, but rubber is very expensive and the cost of dielectric become prohibitive rubber is expensive. Moreover possible changes of permittivity with time may alter the stress distribution and lead to insulation breakdown even at the working voltage. Then with the time there is a possibility the permittivity your with the time this permittivity uh, your um, uh, value may alter. In that case there is a possibility of breakdown even at the working voltage also. Another thing with intersheet grading a grading it may be difficult to arrange the proper voltage of intersheet because you have to connect it to some transformer winding tapping. So, these are very difficult tasks. So, that is very difficult to get the proper volt with this thing proper voltage and the joining of cable having intersheet also poses problems. Suppose you have cut the cable and two cable you are going for jointing and if intersheet is there then uh, it will be difficult because intersheet will be spoiled, but the possibility of damage to the thin intersheet during cable laying also exists because when you are joining right damage to when you are laying the cable also because intersheet will be very thin and there is a possibility that you are what you call that uh, this intersheet may damage right. So, these are the your these are the disadvantages of capacitance grading and your intersheet right. Thank you, we will come, we'll come again.